think I'll play the midway. And I'll just start going off of that. And uh, folks will come in and do what they're going to do. So, going to play the midway for upgrades. Just the plain ones for the first two. Going to take additional torp speed because I don't care about the additional attack time and I'm not using secondaries on the midway. Then we have additional health on the bombers because this is the U.S. Uh, specialty, basically. Torps are nice, rockets are nice, sure, but the bombers are what the U.S. live for. Then we've got flight control mod for random, so it gives us two additional planes of each type as well as bonus regen and uh, is going to allow us to have longer... Uh, interactions over the course of the random battle. If we were looking at more of a ranked or competitive setting, we might choose Squadron Consumable Mod. And then lastly, uh, I have used the Unique, and I do like the Unique, but um, additional speed is going to give us more influence over the map, and as the torpedoes and bombs can be a little slow, that kind of shores them up a bit. We are running an HVAR configuration instead of a Tiny Tim, which... Am I okay with that? I think I'm actually going to go Tiny Tim. So we're going to double down on kind of our battleship and cruiser interactions and let that be it. For the commander, more faster, healthier, base 9 point build for every CV in the game. After that, I've gone with a fighter dominant build with uh, enhanced reactions, more fighters, as well as larger patrol radius. And then we have some uh, torpedo throughput. So we're going to be using torpedoes on battleships, which is going to give us more oof and uh, some additional boost. If we wanted to go into a more damage-oriented build, we could siphon the points off of here and instead get Pyrotechnician, possibly consider Sight Stab if we wanted that for tracking DDs, potentially look into Flak. Uh, these are all different options that we could choose, or of course, throw points into the boost talents. But other than that, there's not much else to say, so we shall go in and do the thing. Okay, so we've got three destroyers, a lot of battleships. Okay. Uh, Des Moines, St. Louis, San Louis, and Arun. And we are against a Kuryu. So the Kuryu is going to be pretty uh, powerful against an isolated ship. So if we see a battleship that's particularly just cutting off from the herd, we're going to have to know that the Kuryu is probably going to be uh, going up on that dude, rolling him down with some torpedoes. Hey, Fat 32. So, we're going to kick off with the rocket plane so we can get a quick aggressive scout. I might move further to the center. Action stations. Which I think I will. Might do something like that, which could give us an issue here, but will at least prevent the majority of the uh, crossfire coming from long range battleships, of which we have the Iowa. Really don't have too much shell pressure. Although I think the Marco Polo, if it's got enough range, uh, its shells can actually bite through the midway deck. As we're coming out to get information on the other side, we're going to burn all of our boost and then let it uh, rack up. And then go back and do that a second time. And then as we cross the halfway point, I'm actually going to let it kind of uh, build back up and maybe keep it above half as we're just sort of maneuvering along getting information. But outside of that, I don't expect it to use it too aggressively. Druid has a pretty decent AA at range. Or, sorry, at medium range, but long range, it's uh, it's not world-ending. As we can see, we only lost a single plane. It's probably worth me uh, just striking in on one of these battleships, but I don't really have a great line for the FDG. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So we probably pre-drop here, go into the FTG once. It's going to be on top of a rune, plus it may have other ships there as well. So rather than mess with it, I'll just do this. And really at this point, it's just because I'm here, I'm taking opportunity to take a shot. Hopefully that's led okay. Let's see if we can get some torps maybe into the FTGs that are in the mid. I don't really think I'm going to be able to bully the uh, Des Moines. And since we did light a fire in an FTG that other people can shoot at, he actually might let that burn. Hey, Gilliax. Right, Druid does have, again, pretty significant AA, so flying over that to deal with the FTG is going to be unpleasant. We might actually come in from the other side to try to do that. And uh, there are two destroyers. We've seen a Druid. We've seen a Tash. We haven't seen the Fletcher. So that's potentially an issue. I might actually... I might need to worry about this Des Moines. 
It might be a thing. Alright, so let's see if we can make some strikes in on the FTG. He's already going to be turning. We're going to start our attack line just so that we can at least get it down. And then see if we can salvage the drop at all. Which the answer is no. So we're going to hard turn off to the left. Try to set in for the follow-up drop. Which we can actually come in from a fairly close range. But we need to make sure that we've already got our line set up. If we're going to do that. Druid poking in to help. We can keep worrying down the FTG. We did get a flood. So we know his damage con is not burned. He's still flooding. Took four of those. He might damage con now. He still does not. But we're going to come in and bomb this. And try to stay away from the AA pack. This is the isolated ship. Marco Polo pushing mid could be interesting. I'm going to drop a fighter here. Which is not close enough to get completely just murder face, but it's going to give us some spotting over the island. Not quite sure where he's going. We're going to use the curl technique. Offset the reticle so that we can glide onto the ship. Because the druid is coming over to give assistance, that's going to stop us from getting a second good drop in because we just won't have the bombs to be able to land the hits. But, we can come back out with Torps and try to worry this while he's in the open pass. We'll try to angle the nose just a little bit, because we'll also be spotted when he comes around the corner. Hey, Sky Raider. Okay, Torps coming out. Looks like he's going to eat one, maybe two of those. And if he slows down... Aw, that's much sadness. Need to actually speed up here in case this dude wants to turn out. So there's a lot of AA where we are right now. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just trying to force this. To be honest, I didn't quite expect him to reverse there, so unfortunately we missed some torpedoes. But now that we know that he's reversing at least chuck in on that and stay back on the bombs. I should try to be getting rockets in. Maybe on the Marco Polo that's pushing mid. Des Moines is also an issue that needs to be handled and the Iowa is right now not handling it. So we probably take rockets for the uh, Des Moines actually. Or we can start working on all this. Save some boost for the attack run. Uh, you have an Oster as well as a Johan, so they should be able to help. Druid is there. Now bombing a cruiser is going to be unfortunate, because the reticle is large enough that most of the bombs won't be going into the cruiser. We got really lucky to get four there, typically we'll get two or three. We usually get about half. The follow-up drop is not going to kill the Des Moines. But, we're trying to focus on a ship to get it off the board. 14, we got a big oof. Okay, so the fire takes that. Enemy Druid is smoked. Tashkent's not gonna happen. <sighs> hmm. Druid doesn't have a creeping smoke. Druid is just a standard British thing, right? Trying to deal with the Tashkent's going to be obnoxious. I think he's in there. We got three hits, which in terms of Tiny Tim's is not insignificant. Fire support. I'm just going to have to block the Pomeran. Unfortunately, I, I can't I help him. I'm sorry, dude. It's just not happening, dude. Alright, so, now that's not going to kill the druid, but at least it might distract him. If he's like, ah, where are the bullets, where are the bullets, where are the bullets? Now, ideally, the Oster or the Johan were going to be able to help this dude, but they aren't. And there's a whole bunch of stuff going on over here, too, so I have to focus where I can. Iowa Alsace, Iowa has no health. Druid is extremely low. Still sees him hits going in here. Now the Druid is down. That's cool. So now there's a Tashkent. 
Yeah, I guess we just YOLO turn. Game return while the FTG doesn't have the sides on us. Pop the engine boost. We're gonna put the reticle out so that we can roll onto the target. Both in terms of turn as well as rolling uh, in close. Not super excited about that drop, but it worked out. We got all six, and we should, maybe, be able to get a second, uh, a second attack in. In terms of Tiny Tim's, we're actually full. We should be using Tiny Tim's on the FTG. Tashkent's just going to be obnoxious. Uh, trying to get that off the board is not going to be a thing that we can do. Hey, Gilliax. Saw me in the morning? Yes. Uh, I'd slept when I got home from work and I couldn't get back to sleep. What's the reasoning behind Tim's? Uh, just consistent interaction against battleships and cruisers. The 33 millimeters um, pen is actually pretty good against heavy cruisers, sure, but against harder battleships and Russian cruisers, it just doesn't do the trick. I don't know how far this dude's looking to turn. Problem solved, sir. Pop in the heel as we're going out so that we can set up for the attack on the Iowa. Suck. Should have set a better line. We were no longer spotted by the Tashkent. We got five into the Iowa, which is significant. I just... Trying to deal with this is going to be obnoxious. Uh, maybe the Alsace can deal with it. Maybe. I don't know if he's going to be able to hit him. Which is a real problem. But let's try to focus on cruise control so we can get over to the Iowa and potentially drop twice. Although, there's still a bunch of stuff up there, too. We will speed up to maximum speed, then let it coast. Speed back up to maximum speed, then let it coast. We want two interactions with the Iowa, and we want to drop really early so that we can curl back in without taking too much damage trying to chase. Bruh, please. Get back. Please don't ram him. Let's leap the flak and try to go in low, which is unfortunate because if we go in high, we have a better chance. Maybe he eats torps. Good. Okay, so we can strike the FTG after. Maybe. We have five planes. That might be enough to penetrate this. FTG's AA is not a joke. Assuming he still has uh, all his secondaries and stuff. Probably end up only dropping with two planes. Maybe not. It's getting close. You're going to lose... Yeah, only two planes. Uh, we got three out of four bomb hits, so we're helping. Uh, Torps we can use on the FTG. I should probably... Let's use Tim's. Let's get the Tim's in while I still have stuff to shoot. The FTG is going to be the best choice for me because it's a battleship. Tim's are not... Why would he ram? It's... You're right. The uh, This is the new German battleship line, which has aggressive torpedo angles. But I'm not used to seeing them and identifying that they have aggressive torpedo angle. So when he was charging forward, it looked like he wanted to ramp. Uh, that's just misread because the ship is new. Okay, Fletcher's backing up. Harugumo is drawing CV attention. He is in smoke, though. So we work on the San Luis. It's a Des Moines versus San Luis. San Luis has torps. Five second lead time here. That might be okay. We're gonna watch, let this all roll out. We don't want to end it early. Because, if we end it early, we go into, um, if we end it early, we end up starting taking AA while we're flying away from the target just to turn back in to shoot the target anyway. So we don't really gain anything, we just kind of lose health for that. And the Alsace is down to the Tashkent. So, still very healthy, which is nice. Let's go ahead and pop a fighter here so we can get some information. And at this point, we're going to be worried down by the Tashkent. But I think we're going to be focusing in on the... On getting the Hakuryu. Uh, we did get a damage con there. So that was at 735. Damage con comes off at 635. 
if we're able to get torps between the island and the Hakuryu, then uh, those floods actually last very long duration. I don't really know if that results in more damage or less damage than uh, fire would, but nonetheless, it's still a thing. Yeah, Rubrik is trying to go for the shot. We're going to go ahead and pre-drop here, because we're not going to be able to heal through the Hakuryu's planes, the uh, fighters. My fighters should absorb the attention of those, which should peel off, well, not. That's cool. Love that stuff. Let's try to heal through this so we didn't waste our uh, journey here. And the Rupert is going to be able to kill some of the planes too, so not all of us. I don't understand that turn, but he's dead, which means uh, Fletcher's going to eat secondaries from the Rupert, which I believe are excellent, and we're going to bomb the Tashkent. It's probably still better for me to run away from the Tashkent uh, to show him the armored uh, armored deck. Hey, Wisconsin. Hello. Okay. Tashkent's AA is not amazing gonna have to try to get position to be able to roll on this. He's hard turning. Duking me and the battleship. Cool. Still gonna turn, so we're gonna place the reticle off to the side. We're gonna drag it onto the target. Like so. That's a kill. Enemy destroyer blown up. And I suppose we can try to work on this Fletcher. Yeah, it's a long time you didn't do any flight instructor. Yes, it has been a very long time. It's been potentially a month or two months before since I've done the last flight instructor stream. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully I, uh, roll into it. And get it all done. Right. This is a Fletcher. Should people should be taking shots at this dude? I don't know why we saw him though. That was kind of awkward. Two, three, four, five. Sh shoot. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the likelihood it's gonna matter here is pretty low. Tiny Tim's do not excel excel at killing uh, DDs. I assume some shots will probably connect to the Des Moines, if nothing else. Well, we can come out with bombs and see if we can greed for it, but he should be dead when the Des Moines gets around the corner. Although the Des Moines might have, uh, <laughs> really? Might have beached. Nope, they're the shells. So Fletcher's not long for the world at this range. And there's the Fletcher, so. Alright, um... <laughs> Worked out fairly well for us. Yeehaw.